Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Faith, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some college hair, makeup, and outfit ideas. These are some of my top outfits that I've been loving lately, and this is my go-to hair and makeup. And then also some nails in there because I've been obsessed with nails lately. All this stuff would also be really cute for Valentine's Day coming up. Well, I got you guys covered, so yeah, if you guys wanna see how I did this and all the fits, then just keep on watching. If you guys haven't done this yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button right below me, and let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so starting out with the makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back just to get it up out of my face. Then I'm gonna go with this Coco Kine sunscreen because Hiram told me how important this is, so Hiram, if you're watching this, I am using sunscreen. Then I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with my favorite Anastasia brow powder. I use the lighter shade and I just start in the front and then move out as I fill them in. Next for eyebrow gel, I've been using this got to be hair gel. I saw this on TikTok, I think, and guys, it works so well. It holds my eyebrows in place, which I have crazy eyebrows, so that's saying a lot. Then I go with my Glossier Future Dew. This is one of my favorite things to put on underneath my foundation. It just makes my skin look super dewy and glowy, and I'm obsessed with it. For foundation, I've been using the Saint Beauty Cream Foundation little palette. This stuff blends out so quick and easy, which I love because I hate when my foundation takes five bajillion years to blend out. And then I just go in with the lighter shade to use this concealer to cover up my lovely Chanel under eye bags. For blush, I'm using this cloud paint one from Glossier in the shade Dusk. It's one of my faves, and yeah, I just blend that with my brush as well. Then to set that, I use my Glossier Wowder. Guys, I've tried so many setting powders, and this one is by far my favorite. It literally looks like you're putting a filter on your face. It's bomb. For bronzer, I'm using my NARS Laguna bronzer just to add some color to my face so I don't look like a ghost. Also, I hope you guys enjoy my really random and ugly faces I'm making throughout this video. For highlighter, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. It's just a really pretty, like, champagne-y pink color. Then for eyeshadow, I'm using my KKW Beauty Classic Eyeshadow Palette. I pick up the mauve kind of pinky purpley color that I love. Anything this shade, I'm obsessed with, and I just blend that into my crease as well as underneath my eyes. Then to go on top of that, I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow in the shade Scratch. It's a really pretty pinky shimmery color. And now for the exciting part, today I'm going to be using these Glam Magnetic Eyelashes. Guys, this is so cool. It's like magnetic eyeliner and then the lashes have magnetic strips on them. So I'm going ahead and putting on the eyeliner to my lash line just to define it and so the lashes can stick to it. Guys, this is like the coolest thing ever. I was so shook doing this. But yeah, mine are the half lashes in Honey and I think they are so pretty. I love half lashes because they just like make my eyes look bigger and I just like the shape of them. But yeah, there's my reaction. Literally guys, it just like stuck to it. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And if you guys want, Glamanic was kind enough to provide me with the 15% off coupon code for you guys. So you can use Faith Robertson to get 15% off. This is seriously probably one of the coolest makeup inventions I've ever seen. Then I'm going with some cream eyeliner just to line my waterline, just to make sure the lashes blend in. And then I'm taking my Honest Beauty mascara just to blend my real lashes in with the fake ones. And then I decided just to add a little bit more eyeliner. And yeah, that's the finished look, guys. These lashes are so amazing. They feel super lightweight and they hold on for the whole day. I, I wore these all day yesterday and they literally didn't bud. I for sure recommend checking these out, guys. Literally worth the investment. Also, Glamnetic recently launched these press-on nails and I am obsessed with this colorway, so I decided to put these on today because my other nails fell off, so I needed to do something different. The little kit comes with everything you need, so you just wipe your nails off with the prep pad and then you go in with the glue and you glue the nails on. It's literally one of the most easiest things to do. The most time consuming part is just figuring out what nails fit on which nail. But after that, it's really simple and easy. It's super quick. And guys, these literally look like my real nails. I've gotten so many compliments on them and I am in love with them. Mine are in the colorway wild card, but they also have tons of different colors and patterns. You guys should definitely check them out because these are stunning. Next up, we have my hair. So if you guys know me, I like have to have my hair curled at all times just because I prefer it that way. So I usually just take my Bellamy curling wand and I have like the thickest barrel on there and I just wrap my hair around it and kind of cup it as I let go of it just to set the curl. And yeah, I just go around my whole head doing this. It doesn't take too long and it lasts until I wash my hair. I usually have to touch it up every few days, but I think it's worth the time investment because I think it just makes my hair look so much better.
And once I'm done coloring my hair, I just take my hands to brush it out because you don't want to leave it looking like that because that's a mess. Then because I'm extra, I take my flat iron and just flat iron the tips of my hair just to make it look a little bit more loose and wavy-ish. And for hairspray, I've been loving this got to be glued hairspray. Guys, it's bomb. Go get it. It's $4.99 at Target. And now for the fit. So typically, I don't dress up like this every single day, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys some of my fave fits. So this one is all from Verge Girl. Guys, this combo is my new favorite thing. Pants, literally so cute. And then for shoes, I'm just wearing my platform Converse. For the next outfit, I'm wearing these jeans from Zara. Yes, these are the TikTok famous jeans. I'm obsessed with them. It took me three times to get the right size, but they do not disappoint. For the coats from Zoffel, and then the top is from Princess Polly, and then the same Converse that I wore in the last outfit. And then I also paired the same top from Verge Girl with the Zara jeans, and I thought it looked really cute. I love restyling different pieces with different things. For the next fit, I'm wearing this really cute green sweater from Hanu Hut, and then my little bag I got from Redbubble, as well as my white pants from American Eagle, and then the same Converse. And for the last outfit, I'm wearing the same jeans and top that I did for the second outfit, but I paired it with this motorcycle jacket from Topshop, and then the same Converse. I think this outfit would look really cute if I like clipped my hair up with one of the claw clips. I just forgot to do it for this video. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite. Also, once again, huge thank you to Glamnatic for sending me these nails and these lashes to show you guys. Don't forget to use my coupon code. I'll have it right here on the screen as well as in the description box below. And I will have the links to the eyeliner, lashes, and nails down below as well. Definitely make sure you guys go check them out. I am still shook at how well that worked. Honestly, wasn't sure if it would work or not, but it worked really well. And these nails, I've been obsessed with these nails. I'm never taking them off. They're just beautiful. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right below me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.